Yo, what's up? Today, I'm talking about what is the black pill. All right, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification button because I'm dropping a video every day. All right, what is the black pill? If you're unfamiliar with the whole pill terminology, basically this all started with the matrix. So if you haven't seen the matrix or you have seen the matrix, there's a scene where Neo is presented with two pills. If you take the blue pill, you'll basically go back to sleep or you'll wake up and you'll continue with your life as status quo. You take the red pill and we'll show you how deep the rabbit go the rabbit hole goes something like that basically at the end of the day the blue pill is you can still live your life in ignorance and being completely oblivious to the dark side of reality right the red pill you take the red pill and you get exposed to the actual dark side of reality to see life for what it actually is so with respect to dating right dating is very similar in that you can go along your life, eh, 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 you know, in fantasy land and you play the victim. Why aren't any women matching with me? How come I have no success with dating apps? Oh, poor me. I can't meet any, meet, meet any women, blah, blah, blah. Or you take the red pill. I'm going to talk about the black pill in a moment. Or you take the red pill and you see life for what it is and you see women's nature for what it is. Why they're not interested in so many men the problem with men and what they're doing and why they're not connecting with women all that stuff so for me personally i would much rather know the brutal ugly truth about anything right so then i can make a decision on what do i do with that information okay and this is kind of where the black pill comes in so I was inspired to do this because uh, I've just been hearing this red pill, blue pill, and then I came across black pill terminology a few times on YouTube. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take a little deeper dive on this whole black pill thing and create this video. So one of the best things that I've seen on how to summarize the difference between red pill, blue pill, and black pill is from a YouTube user. I will mention him, I eat cheese. So, right, I eat cheese is the YouTuber, and maybe he's got some videos. I don't know. I didn't look at his profile. I just saw what he commented on on someone else's video. So this is what he said. He said, "Blue pilled, nothing is wrong. Red pilled, everything is wrong, but you can fix this. Black pilled, everything is wrong. You can't fix this." All right. So. At the end of the day, and I'm looking at my notes because I just want to make sure, you know, I cover everything in this video, is another example is, so I'm, I'm a shorter man. I'm 5'7 in height, okay? Tom Cruise, I believe, is around the same height, right? I'm not Kevin Hart short, but I'm, I'm, I'm shorter than the average man. The average height of a man in North America is 5'9", okay? And it's no secret that most women prefer a tall man. Usually... Women go, they want 666, and no, not the religious 666. Six feet tall, six inch dick, six figure income, okay? So 666 is typically what women are looking for. So the red pill community would say, all right, if you're under six feet, but you have big dick energy, to say it that way, or your energy just in general, you have a masculine frame, a woman will make an exception and will date you because of the energy that you bring to the table. So that's red pill. So, and they'll, they'll say, look, that's why you gotta, and I'm, I, I support this. I'm not a full red pill guy, but I support the, 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 the positive aspect of, okay, look, it's important you know what the, the reality, the brutal reality is and how can you, work with it and use it to your advantage, overcome it, whatever, right? So if your energy and you have the right energy, a woman who typically go for a guy six feet or taller, that you'll be able to um, start to date her. 
The black pill community, on the other hand, would say, well, you know what, that's all nice that you've got this masculine frame, you've got this awesome energy, uh, but you're under six feet, so here's the thing. That she meets a dude that's over six feet or taller, has the same energy, she's going to drop your ass. <laughs> right? So at the end of the day, the black pill community is a very pessimistic view of life. They're like, well, fuck, you can't do anything about it, so... You know, bleh, poor me, I might as well continue to be depressed. It's all, you know, continue to be the victim, which, which I, I'm like the opposite. So I personally am a half, the glass is half full. And I encourage all of you to also be a glass half full type of person because, all right, it's very important to know the, the raw, brutal nature of women, of dating, what they're looking for, what men are looking for, why there's sometimes a disconnect. But damn, if you work on your masculine frame and you work on a bunch of other things, and I cover a lot of different topics in my videos, then basically you'll be able to overcome a lot of resistance, a lot of challenges. So I will share this. I live in Atlanta and I moved here from Canada. So I've been living in Atlanta for almost one year. And this conversation has come up a few times with random people. And so I am not dark skinned, okay? But there have been some people that I've had conversations with and have been ba basically playing the victim card because they're black. And I get it, I get there's disadvantages, but you know, at the end of the day, this is something, I believe it was the book Blink by Malcolm Caldwell that I read. I believe it was the book Blink. So in that book, he said, basically, if you want to be an executive, a C-level executive in a company, and you are a minority, and you're short as a man, okay, not a woman, I'm just talking about men. So you are a short man, under 5'9", and you are a minority, ethnic minority, which I am because I'm of multiple races, right? You have basically a 1% chance to be in the C-suite. Okay, fine. It's the same thing, by the way, for those that love sports, especially NFL. I don't know if you know this, but all, only 1% of the college football players, 1% of all college football players, only 1% make it into the NFL. So at the end of the fucking day, the odds are stacked against us in so many different ways of life, but I'm not discouraged about that. You know what? Maybe... We have to work harder than the next motherfucker, right? That's, that's a thing, man. Guys, like you, sometimes it's like, okay, this sucks. Red pill, black pill will accept, you know what? These odds suck, but then what do we do with it? Well, another example of the black pill. The black pill will say, well, pff, you only have 1%, so don't bother. Red pill will go, wait a minute, but how do you even know you're maximizing your actual own potential? David Goggins. If you haven't heard of him, go to YouTube, research this guy. This guy was a Navy SEAL, ended up doing like these crazy marathons and all the stuff. He lost 100 pounds in three months. Like this guy's an absolute freaking beast. And this guy said that most people only reach 40% of their total potential, maximum, most people. Shit. So that means if your potential is 100%, but most only reach 40%, how much more, right? How much more can we do as, as a man to reach our potential, especially in dating? And a lot of you guys, I'm sorry, man, you are lazy motherfuckers. Like you're not going to the gym. You're not watching what you eat. You're not spending more time on your purpose, on your career, on side hustles. You're just sitting there watching TV every night, watching movies, eating popcorn, blah, 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 and then playing the victim. and like, why aren't these women interested in me? I'm so lonely. <laughs> like you're not reaching your full potential. So listen, I really hope that my videos are inspiring to you and that you will continue to have a more glass half full view of life and not the black pill where you can't do anything about it and be a pessimist. 
So, but let me know in the comments, right? I want to hear from you what you think about this whole topic, red pill, blue pill, black pill community, and what your thoughts, maybe there's some other color pill that I'm not aware of, and you want to drop a comment and say, hey, look, can you do a video on the purple pill, on the yellow pill, or whatever the hell it is, right? And uh, listen, man, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.